Welcome back. We've started a new series here at NBC Charlotte called Carolina Has Heart. We want to recognize inspiring people right here in our community. They should be recognized. Yes. They deserve it. Sarah French joining us now with a lot more on today's honoree. Who do you All have? Right, guys, so I love this story. So we have a lot of inspiring people in our community, of course, and this nominee has inspired a lot of women. And those who have been diagnosed with breast cancer or those women that have breast cancer in their family. At the age of 31, Kelly Cashmer's life changed forever. I was at a routine OBGYN appointment and just was going through all of my family history. Um, my nurse at the time really encouraged me to have the BRCA genetic testing. If the testing came back positive, it would mean you're at a higher risk of developing breast cancer by 86% or ovarian cancer by 64%. I do have a family history of breast and ovarian cancer. Kelly decided to take the test and it came back positive. So she had a decision to make. Would she just become more diligent with her scans and doctor's visits? Or would she have the surgery? At the time, Kelly had two children, ages one and three. So she decided to stick with more doctor's visits and scans. But at that first appointment, everything changed. When they call me back in, they told me that I had stage two triple negative breast cancer. So did you think, I just can't believe this is happening at 31? Yeah, I mean, basically. But after countless surgeries, Kelly decided exactly what to do. She started her organization, Nothing Pink. I had pink thrown at me in surgery and the socks and the robes and all of these things right. were pink, pink, pink. And my connection with pink was always to my children. And it was very happy, it was very joyful. I just thought to myself, there's nothing pink about breast cancer. In 2018, Nothing Pink raised over $36,000 to help women with genetic counseling, testing and surgery. Megan Hoyle was one of those women. So after I got married, um, I decided to do the bracket testing. It was positive. Megan wasn't sure what to do. My husband was like, I just want you to talk to a few more people that have actually gone through this to get their perspective. And so that's when I found out about Nothing Pink and I met with Kelly. A friendship brought together by something that wasn't happy or joyful or pink. It's just like the warmest feeling to know that there's like a whole community of women that have very similar stories to mine. So Kelly, when you started this, did you see it turning into this? We have an incredible group of women that have just been bonded and binded together for life. So for more information on Nothing Pink, you can head to our website, WCNC.com. And of course, also please send me your nominations for anyone for Carolina Has Heart. Of course, you can email me directly, Sarah at WCNC.com. But I found these women so inspiring and I love talking to them. And she really does have a point. Pink is so happy with the little girl and she just- It's personal for her. It's personal for her. Right. Yeah, it's a great story. And great it takes, series. Yeah, it, yes. it really is. It takes a lot of courage to while you're going through something like that to also on this hand, Start something like that. Yeah. I know, I know, but she's helping so many yeah. women in the process. Yeah. Sarah, Thanks, Sarah, thank you.